I hate you. I hate you with all of my heart. The way you burst your hair from your face And the way you smile I can't wait to turn my beautiful Safix, today I want to put you guys into a film from 2017 called Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman. I see you in everything you do. I think you're magnificent. <laughs> first things first. I would like to personally apologize to Angela Robinson, the director, for not seeing this when he first came out in the theaters six years ago. Will you stop apologizing? Do you know how many times a minute you apologize? Sorry. The trailers didn't look particularly good to me, and I didn't feel like seeing another movie about Wonder Woman. But this, this is so much better than I could have imagined. When she lies, her... Her voice shakes, and her hand sweats. The galvanometer skin tests were too inconsistent. Oh, Bill, her rhythmic breathing increases. Lucy already exhausted that avenue. Her heart beats faster. History isn't clear on who fell for whom first. Still, Robinson presents the film as a love triangle. Her systolic blood pressure would rise. Her systolic blood pressure. You could measure that. Oh, you could f***ing measure that. Good. <laughs> Done it! The link to the lie detector test was there the whole time. It doesn't matter what you say or what you think. Your body will always betray you. Elizabeth was really into William, who was really into Olive, who was really into Elizabeth. I know this might sound controversial, and I don't want to change the story's truth. Still, in the film, especially in the beginning, I felt like Olive only accepted the professor because she was deeply in love with Elizabeth and she knew it was the only way to be with her. I don't love him. <laughs> of course you do. No, don't take me for a fool, Olive. I'm many things, but I'm not a fool. I know that, you're brilliant. Don't you see, it's over. Whatever this is, was, it's over. I love you. <gasps> you can't imagine how grateful I am that a lesbian directed this film, especially because he's the same director that produced the film Dabs back in the day. Look, I understand that this whole thing isn't going to work out between us because obviously I misinterpreted the whole situation, but I just want you to know that last night was the most alive I felt in a while. Come with me. Come on, what do you have to lose? Angela Robinson has managed to present one of the most natural love stories that I have seen in a while, between two women in a polyamorous relationship that eventually inspired the Wonder Woman character. I want to learn. I admire you. I read your paper on the correlation of color and emotional states. You read my paper? It's criminal that they will not give you a degree. You know, you don't need to feed me a line. I'm not. God, what is wrong with you? She's neurotic, also compulsive. I'd say that's accurate. Mm. I was so worried that this relationship of a man and two women was going to be a double dose of heterosexuality that I never gave the film a chance. But no, the majority of romantic moments in the film are between Elizabeth and Olive. What are you doing here? I don't know. Are you in love with Elizabeth? No. Do you want to have sex with Elizabeth? No. And true to be told, there are so many scenes where William is almost like the third wheel. Well? Well what? What do you have to say to that? I'm flattered, I suppose. For sake, Elizabeth. What do you want? One can want a great many things. It doesn't mean they're going to happen. It is a queer biopic that didn't shove his characters back in the closet. And because of that, I'm so grateful the film was directed by a lesbian. It is important to me that young girls of today realize they have the power within themselves to create their own destiny. 
And Wonder Woman's catchphrase is suffering Sappho. Sappho is a famous poet from ancient Greece. Known for her love of women. To be honest, this film was intended to tell the story about the men, but it truly shines a light on two incredible women who, when united, embodied the essence of Wonder Woman. It is my belief that passion and emotion between women is perfectly natural. Dr. Marston, lesbianism is an emotional illness. As a doctor of psychology, your endorsement of this abnormal behavior in the pages of your comic is reckless. He also provides a fascinating glimpse into the history of polyamorous relationships, bisexuality, and they give us a soft introduction to BDSM. We were thinking that we could confront whatever these emotions are together. Fuck you. I'm saying that I'm open to having sex with you, if you'd like that. We miss you. We'd like to mend fences. Great performances, great story, and the amazing and beautiful Rebecca Hall. What is your intention towards Olive? I don't understand your question. I didn't ask you. I know what your intention is. What is your intention towards Olive? I don't understand the question. I'm not an idiot. You are filling her mind with perverse thoughts and ideas. Look, Olive is not a child. You can't control her. You can't stick a ring on her finger and put her in a box, good little woman, behind her little man. True to be told, she's an absolute revelation. Nothing short of extraordinary. Olive, don't let him do this to you. I don't mind. Why the f don't you mind? <laughs> Please, dear, have an open mind. How much have you spent on all of this anyway? It's research material. The scenes between Olive and Elizabeth are like a dream of their own. And it is so beautiful to see how Oliver's gaze always gravitates towards Elizabeth. Oh, we're going home. Elizabeth. I know you don't approve, but I... Is this what you really want? Then put your hands behind your back. Their love is portrayed as mutual between the three. However, it is clear to see that Olive holds a unique, adoring love for Elizabeth. Hi. Sweetie, I'm late. <laughs> I don't care. No, I'm late. I have to go. I'm just calling because uh, I woke up this morning and I've, I felt um, terrible. I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> the film must be praised for its mostly positive deception of a polyamorous relationship and for exploring unknown aspects of Wonder Woman. I want him to grow up. If we do this, we can't let it come back on our children. We'll have to make up an explanation, a lie, and stick to it. Finally, this is just as gay as any of us could have hoped it would be, if not more. I think it's a girl. Really? Well, if it is, I shall name her Olive Ann. Don't cry. <laughs> oh. Knowing that Elizabeth and Olive live happily ever after for 38 years together after William passed away is just a sherry on top of the cake. I'm going to die and you will be left all alone with your bitterness and your rage and your knowledge that you loved her and she loved you and you threw it away for them. Don't you love her? Yes. And have you always? Yes. The costumes, the script, the characters, the acting are all outstanding. Will you forgive me? No. 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 Okay, that wasn't good enough. You, you need to submit to her. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. You cannot win every argument. You cannot dominate all the time. Get on your knees. I will not. This is absurd. Get on your knees. I, I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching. I thought love wasn't enough, but it, it has to, it has to be enough because we cannot, I cannot live without you. I want you to love me for all of my days. All right.